All right, there it is with the chair and the uh, the first layer of the frame. This is where the um, uh, the canopy is going to be attaching with a couple of elbows and, and uh, make it into a hinge. Now I am already starting to take into consideration the fact that I need to be able to get this entire build out of my basement through the front door and into the van so that you know I can actually take it to the con or anywhere for that matter. Uh, so I'm you know following my, my schematics but as for how it's going to all you know permanently fit together what's going to permanently fit and what is going to have to be removable and assembled on site that's another problem that I'm going to need to solve right away. And so right now I've got the seat and the first the first part of the frame and I have the back piece of the chassis and then uh, the four pieces there that are going to be uh, attaching them together. From many years ago, uh, I did a lot of hiking. And uh, so I have my hiking backpack here. And it so happens that this one has, has a nice hole right through here that doesn't touch my neck when I put a PVC pipe straight through it. All of the weight comes down right here. And I'm sure there's other ways that I can distribute it so, uh, somewhere around else on the pack. And uh, yeah, but I, I, I put a pipe through there, tried it on, put the whole thing, added some extra weight, and it felt perfectly fine. And it was amazingly comfortable, which of course is what you want to go for in a cosplay. But in the meantime, I'll show you what I've accomplished with the frame. And in the midst of the messy and cramped basement, I've managed to accomplish this. Uh, so I've gotten the back on, Got some support pieces through there and some wire. So this is completely rigid. And the way that I've built this, because it will have to be collapsible, of course, I'm gonna to have to get it into the vehicle. Uh, this screw right here, I'm gonna be changing that to a bolt uh, in, in all four corners there. Change them into bolts so that those are removable. These pieces collapse down and of course the wires uh, will, <laughs> will come off. So instead of attaching to the side like I had originally planned, I decided that since these uh, was a detachable point, it'd be better to make something a little bit more permanent. And so I put some uh, T-joint in there. Uh, that's just in the chair itself. And then built the rest of this H right here and some supports in the back. So these are gonna be staying, this will come out right here and here. So, so this H will be one piece. Uh, you can see that that bar goes right across in there and puts all the weight right there. So I suppose you want to see a test now, don't you? To test the weight, I have three IKEA glass doors here. Uh, they're pretty heavy. Uh, they're probably about 30 to 40 pounds. A good, uh, good test weight on the chair here. And without my hands, I can carry it around, as you can see here. And yes, I can definitely feel it. I've been wearing this for about 10 minutes, at least. Uh, and uh, it's all right for, for that amount of time so far. So that was another good test. It revealed to me that I don't have as much space in there as I originally thought. Uh, for example, for moving my arms around and operating the, the mechanism that I designed for the rear landing gear. So I'm gonna have to redesign that completely. The visibility out the front is really good. Uh, left and right, I can move my head enough so that when I look out the, the vent windows, I'll be able to see the ground. And uh, so other than the landing gear, everything is going pretty much as planned. 